y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Nicole. In today's video, we are going to be decorating my entryway table for the summertime. If you wanna see everything that we get into, go ahead and keep watching. All right, y'all, so the first thing I wanna start by doing is sharing with you all what the front entryway looks like right when you walk in. So as you can tell, the entryway is rather small. There's not really much that I can do in here other than decorate the table that I have right here. This table I made myself, super, super easy table to make. I really wanted a long table to fill up this entryway wall right here because like I said, it's not really a wide entryway, so there's really not much that you can do. So this table is only 12 inches wide, perfect for some decor to welcome our guests in, but also not so wide that it takes up too much space in the entryway. So this is what we're gonna be decorating today is the entryway table. All right, y'all, so I wanna share with you all everything that we're gonna to use to decorate the entryway table. So let's go ahead and get into this little haul. So the first thing that I wanna use on the entryway table is gonna be these two beautiful ivies right here. I don't know if you guys remember these, but I picked them up ooh, a while ago, maybe like five or six, maybe six months ago, actually. I picked them up when I first redid my dining area. I had them on the shelves in my dining room. And y'all, they have gone crazy. They have grown so much. They are actual real ivy. They came from Target and they really, really loved the spot that they were in. They're in the dining area on top of the shelves. So I guess the lighting was perfect for them. I've had ivy in the past and I've always killed it. It never really liked where it was at. I guess it was either too much light or not enough light for it. So I had really good luck with these on the spot that they were at there in the dining area. And that is why I decided to bring them here to the entryway because I feel like the lighting is really similar here. It's kind of indirect light and that's what they liked in the dining area. So let's hope that they like it here in the entryway as well. So the next thing is of course, we're gonna use a book. Y'all know I like to decorate with vintage books. We're gonna be using this really large book right here as a riser and I'm really excited to share this with you all. We're also going to be adding this super adorable little reading dog right here. Isn't this so cute y'all? So I'm excited to share that I ordered this from a small business that is located. I think it's in Oklahoma. I will leave it written down at the bottom of the screen, but I think it's Oklahoma. It is called Presley Pierce Interiors. Look at that. Super cute y'all. So I heard about this small business through the YouTube channel Ramon at Home. If you all don't know about his channel, you need to go check it out. He does the most beautiful floral arrangements. And he actually mentioned that he had shopped at this small business in the past, and I had to check it out for myself. So Presley Pierce Interiors just recently started their online store, and I was so excited to check it out. I found this cute reading dog on there, and I had to order it. So I'm very, very excited to decorate with this here in the entryway. The next thing we're gonna be decorating with are just gonna be a couple of little accent pieces. It's gonna be these two little decorative balls that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. I actually picked them up a really long time ago and I've kind of used them in different displays throughout the years. And I had them in a storage box, recently found them and thought, you know what, I need to decorate with these again. They're really, really beautiful, distressed looking wood. So yes, y'all, these came from Hobby Lobby. I've still seen them there if you want to get some for yourself. So I'm also gonna be using these metal candle stands right here. These came from Savers. I have them in all sorts of different sizes. I think we're gonna use four of them here on the entryway table. And then to them, I am going to be adding little votive battery operated candles. These are super, super pretty when they're on y'all. And I, I believe that they're remote operated as well. I haven't used them since I think fall time last year. So I don't really remember. And I know for sure I need batteries and I went and picked some up for them, but we will be adding these to the candlesticks just like this. They look really beautiful. So I'm so excited to decorate with these as well. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, then you probably know that I always decorate my entryway table with this huge dough bowl right here. This dough bowl came from Tuesday morning a while ago, but I absolutely love decorating with it here on the entryway table. It is really large, so it takes up a lot of space on my really long entryway table. So it is perfect to go right in the middle and that is where we're gonna decorate with it. Then because I like to have different heights, so I usually like to go from like tall to short in the middle to tall on the other side on my entryway table, I'm gonna be using this really large glass vase over here in the corner. This glass jar usually comes out 
like every other season because I really like decorating with it on the entryway table. This was from World Market and y'all this was only $14.99 which I feel like is a super good deal for such a large vase. So to that large vase that I just shared with you all, I'm gonna be adding this greenery that I just picked up at Michael's. This is super, super beautiful, y'all, and it was $14.99, but y'all, Michael's has all of their either summer stuff or spring stuff, I'm not sure, but it's 70% off right now, and this was in a 70% off sale, so $14.99, 70% off is a super, super good deal. This is really, really beautiful. I am so excited to decorate with it in that large glass vase that I just shared with you all. So while we're talking about Michael's and their 70% off sale, let, let me share with you all all the other greenery and floral pieces that I picked up from them today. So I also picked up these two long, beautiful greeneries right here. These were each also $14.99, so super good deal with the 70% off. I'm gonna use these in the dough bowl, y'all. And I'm excited to make a floral arrangement in there. I think it's gonna come out really pretty. So I also picked up four of these hydrangea stems from Michaels. They kind of look like the Hobby Lobby ones. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I feel like the Hobby Lobby ones look a little bit more realistic, but Hobby Lobby didn't have their florals 50% off this week. And I will not buy their florals unless they're 50% off because they're a little bit pricey if they're not. So I figured I might as well go with these because they were 70% off at Michaels. And these y'all were only, $3.99 each, so I picked up four of these to add to the double. All right, and last but not least for Michaels, I picked up these, uh, what are these called? I don't really know what you would call these, but they kind of look like maybe some barley. They are super, super cute. I really like the way they kind of flop over like that. I'm really excited to decorate with these in the dough bowl as well. These were $7.99 each and then of course 70% off. So y'all, for all of that floral that I just showed you guys, I came out only paying $26 and some change. So I thought that was a super, super good deal. If y'all need any kind of floral or greenery, make sure to check out your Michaels. And that is it for this haul. Let's go ahead and get to decorating the entryway table. All right, y'all, so let's go ahead and start by adding our glass vase right here to the corner. And to that, we're gonna add our greenery. And next to the glass vase, I'm gonna add our beautiful ivy. Then we'll add our little wood accent piece. So now we'll go ahead and add our dough bowl to the middle of the table. And then we can go ahead and start adding our greenery to our dough bowl. Now I'm gonna cut our hydrangeas down. And as you can see, these come kind of sparse looking, like this is one little stem right here and it's super, super sparse looking. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put like three stems together to make it look like one bigger hydrangea and then we'll add that into our double. So now that we've gotten this far, I'm gonna go ahead and add our other little greenery pieces in. So then, as you all can see, I decided to add some floral foam to the back row of hydrangeas and just add the hydrangeas to that, and as well as the greenery pieces to kind of give the back a little bit more height. I don't know if you all are like this, but when it comes to floral arrangements, I feel like I could just keep zhuzhing and zhuzhing, and I don't know that I actually like it until I see it for a couple of days. So I might still mess with this after you all see it here on this video, but for now, I like how it turned out. So now for this end over here, I'm just gonna add our book. Then to the top of the book, I'm gonna add the other ivy. 
Then we'll add our reading dog and our little wooden piece. So now last but not least, just to add some ambiance to our very green table, I'm just gonna add our candlesticks and our little battery operated candles. So y'all, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope that you all enjoyed decorating my entryway table for the summertime with me. I really love how it turned out. I feel like when you walk in the front door and you see it, it makes such a statement and you automatically are prepared to see the white hydrangeas and greenery throughout the house, which is exactly what we did. If y'all have seen all the other summer decorating videos that I've done, we've carried the white hydrangeas and greenery kind of throughout the house. So I feel like right when you walk in, if that's the first thing that you see, you're already kind of prepared to see it throughout the house. I really, really love how it turned out. It's really abundant looking and there's a lot of greenery going on on it, but I actually really like that. I mean, when else can you do it other than summertime? I feel like it's the perfect time. Everything outside is green and blooming, so might as well have green and blooming inside as well. So yeah, y'all, I had so much fun sharing with you all. Oh, and I wanted to mention, y'all, we hit 3,000 subscribers. I can't even believe it. Thank you all so much for supporting my channel and watching my videos. As I've said before, I appreciate each and every one of you for coming back time and time again and watching my videos and leaving me sweet comments. Thank you so much. It's so fun to see my channel grow and to get to share my creativity with you all. So yeah, y'all, thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate you. And that will be it for this week's video. I will see you guys next week. Bye y'all.